everyone. So today I'm here to talk to you about my top toys for six to nine month olds. These toys are all awesome because they are compact. They are multifunction so they can grow with your baby. They have different uses and they're not going to take up too much space. And while some of them might be a little bit pricier, they're going to last a long time. So I'm going to talk about those and why I like them and maybe some things that you might not like about them. All right, let's go. My first favorite toy, you can use it actually from birth all the way up until about nine months old or even older if your baby likes it. The Fisher Price Deluxe Play Mat. It comes with a little piano. I'm sure you've probably seen it before. These are very popular and there's a reason they're so popular. They're pretty affordable and they grow with your baby. But we're gonna fast forward to how you can use them with your six to nine month olds. You can move the arch to the front and now it's like an arch right next to the piano. And here's a video of my son actually playing with that toy that way. So when he's sitting, he actually has the arch with all those little fun toys. And he also has the piano that he can be playing or picking or whatever he wants to do with it. Since it lights up, it's very interactive and engaging. So that's awesome. If your baby is not steady yet and sitting, no problem. Put something up behind them and just prop them up like a boppy could work or a pillow. Just stay close and sit behind him, which is what I usually do. The next really cool thing that I like about it is you can remove it from the legs and just put it down on the ground. This is awesome for tummy time. If your baby is needing something more engaging during tummy time while she is working out those muscles in her neck, um, you can lay her down and have her play the piano. The mat that it comes with is pretty much useless once your baby can flip. So once your baby starts rolling, um, she's not going to want to stay on that mat and it's super small so the arch kind of gets in the way of their legs. Um, that's literally my only complaint. It's pretty cheap. You can fold it up. You can even roll the mat up and put it under furniture to hide it. It's super easy to wash and clean. Almost all the parts come off of it. So that's awesome. Let's talk about the Skip Hop. This Skip Hop Interactive Activity Center is the best. It's I can't say enough good things about it. You can start putting baby in it when she is strong enough to sit. And the really fun thing is that it has a bouncy floor. So the floor bounces, but the seat is super stable. So the seat and the core of your baby is not going to bounce like some of the really crazy bouncers, but this is a good way to kind of start exploring your feet and your legs and still have that stability in the core. When baby is tall enough and stable, you can remove the bottom part like the floor and now the baby can actually use the floor and spin around. So here's a video of my son doing just that. He is spinning around and exploring the different toys in the activity center. It's really cool. It entertains him and there's tons of different toys. And I like to use those little plastic rings and clip on my own extra toys or a pacifier. So you can almost change up the toys. And then when baby is over that, because once your baby is mobile, you're not gonna be able to put her in that seat for very long. You're gonna take the seat out of the middle and it actually comes with a tabletop. So the seat comes out and it's almost like a donut and then you cover that center hole with the tabletop and it's now a table. All right. Now you've got your tabletop and you can use this for breakfast, for snacks. This could be a craft table. This could be a sto in storage because the legs kick right on in. So another benefit about this toy is that the legs kick in and you can store it again, right under furniture, under a couch, behind a table. Like you can put it wherever you need it. Tons of pros. This grows with your family as well. It has the bouncy floor, then you can remove the floor, then it has the center and you can remove the center and then it has the toys and you can remove the toys. Now it's a table. You can buy chairs for it as well and then really make it into a little fun place for your toddler to play now. The only con I can think of with this is that it's a little bit on the pricey side, but you're gonna use it for years. So it's definitely worth it. The last toy I'm gonna talk about is the Cole Craft Tiny Tot Walker. You can put baby right in it and then they can cruise around the house while you're cooking dinner. This is awesome because you can just hear them scooting around. It also has that little activity tray almost. It has like a little cup holder and a few different toys. It's removable so they're easy to wash and clean. Once baby is walking, you can actually flip it to the second stage, which is a walker. You remove the seat from it and now baby can just push it around almost like a lawnmower. It's great at the six to nine month mark when your baby is starting to learn how to 
uh, walk. As you can see, there's two different stages with it and it also folds pretty flat so you can store it easily. I love the toys that don't just sit and take up room. Like when you're done using them, you fold them and you put them away and you don't have to see them again for a while. And they're really, really useful and handy because you can use them for a couple of months opposed to some of these other toys that you're really only using for, you know, maybe a couple of weeks. The only con with this toy is that it's a little bit on the bulky side and I don't love that the wheels don't lock. It would be so nice if there was a way to lock the wheels so you could use it as an interactive activity center. So while you're cooking dinner, you don't have to worry about bumping into your son while you are cooking food or whatever the case might be. It's also on the bulkier side. Um, it's a lot of plastic and if that's not your style, I can totally understand why you wouldn't necessarily love this thing, but I think that the pros definitely outweigh the cons. All right, and that's it. Those are my top three toys that I would recommend for your six to nine month olds. These are the big toys that are helping develop those gross motor skills and with the activity centers, those finer motor skills as well. There's a lot of stuff going on during this age. There's a lot of brain development and there's lots of activities you can do to help engage your six to nine month old. So don't forget to check back in for a video on how to do those things. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment with how you are engaging with your six to nine month old. All right guys, until next time.